Praise the Lord. But destiny is calling, calling you. Destiny is calling and your purpose too. Destiny is calling, calling you. Give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is our life in him. We live, we move, and we have our being. We're grateful to God for another day that he has made. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein. This program today goes out to all of you all across this world and country. We thank God for our weekly viewers uh, that tune in to WIL TV 47, located in the marble city of Sylacauga, Alabama, where the Lord is doing great things. We thank God for all the affiliates at WIL TV 47 that bring this program and all the programs to you. Uh, in regard to this station. We're just thankful and grateful to you. Amen. We want to say God blessings out there to Brother Oscar Cook over at, uh, member over at New Hope in Talladega. Amen. Thank God for you, Sister Brown. And we're grateful to God for all of you that have tuned in to this broadcast. And we pray God's blessings upon you. May God, amen, richly bless you. Amen. For only, amen. He can do that. Amen. Amen. He can supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And we're thankful and grateful to God for all things in his name. Praise the name of God. On last Sunday, amen, we talked about, amen, how, how Jesus will meet you right where you are at. And he will take you where you need to go. And I'm encouraged by that because wherever you are in life, amen, Jesus will meet you there. Amen. If you're having some anxiety or some stress-related problems, Jesus will meet you right there. And he said, cast all of your cares upon him, for he careth for you. If your load is heavy and your burdens are hard to bear, Jesus will meet you right where you are at. He said, come to me, all that labor and all that are heavy laden, he'll meet you right where you're at, and he will give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you, learn of me, for, amen, I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If you're having some trouble sleeping, uh, tossing and turning, Jesus will meet you right where you are at. If the no-dos don't seem to be working, if the sleeping pills don't seem to be working, Jesus said he gives his beloved sleep. Amen. Jesus will give you rest. Praise the name of God. And he will meet you right where you are at. What I love about him, he doesn't judge you. He doesn't criticize you. He doesn't condemn you. God, amen, sent his son into the world not to condemn the world, but, but that the world through him might be saved. And I thank God that we serve a Savior that will meet us right where we are at. Amen. If you're not saved, oh, that's what he come for. Jesus Christ came into this world, amen, to seek and to save that which is lost. Angel told Joseph that she was going to bring forth a son, that they were going to call his name Jesus, and he was going to save his people from their sin. And when he came into this world, he met men, he met women, he met children, he met sick, he met the afflicted. He met them <coughs> right where they were at. And he will meet you right where you are at. If you're lost, Jesus said, I come to seek and to save that which is lost. And if you're lost, you're not alone. 
all we are like sheep that have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way. But Jesus may meet us right where we are at. Amen. Praise the name of God. The Lord laid on him the iniquity, not of some of us, not of certain of us, but Jesus, amen, it, the Lord laid on them the iniquity of us all. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripe we are healed. Whatever you need healing from, he will meet you right where you are at, at, at UAB, at Sylacauga, wherever you're at, in your bedroom, he will meet you on your bed of affliction, and he will heal your body. And I pray in agreement with you for healing to your body in the name of Jesus. As we go to the throne of grace in prayer, the Bible says, with prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God. When you make your request known unto God, he will meet you right where you are at. If you're dealing with a situation with a child and you're about to throw your hands up and say, what's the use? Amen. I encourage you to give it over to Jesus. Grandmama said, bring your burdens to the Lord. Amen. And leave them there. When you leave them with Jesus, he can fix it. Amen. Are there any rivers that seem uncrossable? Amen. Uh, is there any tunnels that you cannot tunnel through? God specializes in things that seem impossible. You know what? He can do what no other power, Holy Ghost power, can do. Amen. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. He's a savior. He's a way maker. He's a burden barrier. He's a heavy load sharer. And all we got to do is lift our eyes to the hills from which come our help. Our help come from the Lord which made the heaven and earth. With prayer and supplication make your request known unto God and believe that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Believe that he can do. Amen. Exceeding abundantly above all that you ask, all that you think according to the power that work in you. Let God work the power in you. Let God fix it for you. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. He'll meet you there. Amen. If you're distraught, he'll meet you there. If you're depressed, he'll meet you there. Cast all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Amen. Praise the name of God. God loves you. God cares about your situation. Let us go to the throne of grace in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come with our arms lifted up, with our heads lifted high. We look to you, Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. When our heart overwhelms us, lead us to you, Jesus, that rock that is higher than I. We lift our eyes to the hills from which come our help. Our help come from you which made the heaven and earth. Meet us where we are. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Meet us where we are at. Father, in the name of Jesus, some need one thing and some need another. Some are in one place and some are in another place. But you will meet us right where we're at. And you will supply all of our every need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We pray. Help from your sanctuary, strength out of Zion. Look on the Bice family right now. Cover them, God, in the name of Jesus. Don't let another one die, oh God, from the COVID. We pray, oh God, your blessings upon that family right now in the name of Jesus. We speak healing to the wife, to the children. We speak deliverance, God, to that family. Oh God, help them to overcome. 
in Jesus' name. Bless Brother Oscar Cook right now. Touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Sister Brown, we pray your blessings upon you right now. By, your, by Jesus' stripes, you are healed. And God, we cover you and we come to you, God, thanking you for your loving kindness, for your multitude of tender mercies. Have your way in our lives. Save the lost. Seek. As we come to seek you, give us a closer walk with you. And we'll be careful to give you a name and honor. All the glory, all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank God. Amen. We're going to the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 and begin reading at verse number 12. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and beginning reading at verse number 12. Yeah, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the thing which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And that's what we want to talk today about is the Bible. And if you're taking notes, Bible meaning basic instruction before leaving earth. Basic instruction before leaving earth. If the Lord tarry, we're all going to one day leave this earth. Amen. And we should cover some basic instructions before leaving earth. Because the Bible has made it clear in the book of Hebrews that it is appointed unto man once to die. And after death, the judgment. So we all have an appointment to leave this earth. We don't know when, we don't know where, but our days are numbered. Amen. Jesus Christ will either return or he's going to call us home. Either way, we're going to leave this earth. And we should cover some basic instructions before leaving earth. And I just want to go over a few important ones and our basic instructions before leaving earth. One important basic instruction before leaving earth is what Jesus told Nicodemus. What did Jesus tell Nicodemus? Well, let's go to the story of John 3. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a ruler of the Jews. And he came to Jesus by night, saying, Rabbi, teacher, master, we know that you are a teacher that come from God. And that's good to know. That's some good instruction to know that Jesus come from God. And he said, for no one can do the miracles that you do except God be with him. 
Praise the name of God. Jesus told Nicodemus that except a man, <coughs> that you must be born again. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Gave him some basic instruction that he must be born again. Nicodemus declared, how can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus said to Nicodemus, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Marvel not, Nicodemus. Do not be surprised, Nicodemus. Do not be surprised, world. Do not be surprised, amen, church. You must be born again. Amen. Praise the name of God. If you want to see Jesus face in peace, you must be born again. Basic instruction. Amen. You must believe on him. You must, amen, amen, allow him to come into your life. Jesus said, believe on me as the scripture has said, basic instruction, and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Praise the name of God. So, amen, basic instruction, but very important instruction is that we must be born again. Praise the name of God. Basic instruction. If you want this world to be a better place in which to live, we need to follow some basic instruction before leaving earth. Amen. If we want this world to be a better place, amen, in which to live, amen, then we need to have love. First of all, love for God. Amen. It's simple, basic instruction before leaving her. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and all your strength. Basic instruction before leaving her. Amen. But he didn't stop there. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. Basic instruction before leaving her. Now, Paul, amen, talked about love. Now, amen, and said how, amen, that praise the name of God. Now, hallelujah, do I speak with tongues and of angels? Now, amen, and have not love. Now, I'm become a tinkling cymbal or sounding brass. Now, do I give all my goods to feed the poor? Now, and do I give my body to be burned huh? and have not love I am nothing huh? so love is a basic instruction before leaving her huh? the Bible says how can we say we love God whom we've not seen huh? basic instruction before leaving her huh? and hate our brother whom we see daily huh? the Bible says we'll lie and the truth is not in us so love is a basic instruction before leaving earth. We must love the Lord. Love our neighbors as I said. But he didn't stop there. Moses said an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But Jesus didn't stop there. He said love your enemies. Pray for them with this spitefully use you. Bless them that curse you. Now, love them that hate you. Now, basic instruction. Now, before leaving earth, now, you must be born again. Now, we got to have love. Now, hallelujah. Now, before leaving earth, now, if you don't love, now, if you have no love,
love. Please don't die. God is love. Hallelujah. We got the love. Jesus said, by our love one to another, shall all men know that you are my disciples. Love is very important. Amen. Being born again is very important. Before leaving earth, the Bible, which is the word of God, is very important. The Bible patriarchs, many of them, pointed out the importance of the Bible, the basic instruction before <coughs> leaving earth. David realize uh, the importance of the Bible. Uh, and he said, Thy word, O Lord, uh, hath uh, hid in my heart uh, that I might not uh, sin against you. Uh, his word uh, is a lamp to my feet. Uh, his word uh, is a light uh, to my pathway. Uh, David uh, said, Wherewithal uh, shall a young man uh, cleanse his way. Ha, answer ha, by taking heed <coughs> to the word of God. Ha, heaven and earth ha, shall pass away, ha, but my word, ha, the word of God, ha, is going to stay in ha, forever. Ha, the Bible, ha, basic instruction ha, before leaving earth ha, is very important. Ha, come here, Isaiah. Ha, how important is it? Ha, well, ha, black bread to the eater, ha, see to the sower, ha, so shall ha, my word be ha, that goes forth ha, out of my mouth, ha, and it shall not ha, return unto me void. Ha, it shall accomplish ha, what it please. Ha, it shall prosper ha, where it is set. Ha, yeah, ha, the flower withers, ha, the grass fadeth, ha, but the word of the Lord ha, endures forever. Ha, can't you hear David saying, ha, let the words of my mouth ha, and the meditation ha, of my heart ha, be acceptable ha, in your sight. Ha, Lord, Lord, ha, my strength ha, and my redeemer, ha, if you're going, ha, hallelujah, ha, to be approved by God, ha, we need to follow up ha, what Paul told Timothy, ha, and that is ha, preach ha, the word, ha, yeah, ha, by basic instruction, ha, before leaving her, ha, preach the word, ha, be instant, ha, in season, ha, out of season, ha, reprove, ha, rebuke, ha, exhort ha, with all ha, long suffering and doctrine, ha, for the time will come ha, when they will not endure. Ha, they won't put up ha, with sound doctrine, ha, but after ha, their own lust ha, shall they heap ha, to themselves. Ha, teachers ha, having itching ears, ha, turning their ears <coughs> away from the truth and turning ha, on the fables, ha, basic instruction, ha, before leaving her, ha, Paul told Timothy ha, the importance ha, of the Bible. Ha, he told him to study, ha, to show yourself ha, approved unto God, ha, a workman ha, that need a not ha, to be ashamed, ha, rightly dividing ha, the word ha, of God, ha, basic instruction. Now, before leaving her, ha, yeah, ha, Paul said it like this, ha, I'm not ashamed ha, 
of the gospel. Now, I'm not ashamed uh, of the Bible uh, because uh, it is the power uh, of God uh, on the salvation. Uh, yeah, uh, to everyone uh, that believes uh, the word of God, uh, like Jeremiah said, uh, is like fire. Uh, shut up uh, in my bones. Uh, it's like a hammer uh, that breaks the rock uh, in pieces. Uh, the word, uh, the Bible, uh, is powerful, uh, sharper uh, than a two-edged sword. Uh, yeah, uh, we need uh, the Bible. Uh, we need uh, the Word of God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I'm closing now, uh, but I hear Paul uh, telling Timothy uh, he suffered uh, persecution. Uh, he went through something. Uh, living for God fulfilling the Bible but it cost him much persecution but Paul realized he was not alone for he said in 2 Timothy 3 12 yeah and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus, just as sure as you make up in your heart and in your mind to live for Jesus, Satan is coming. Yeah, he's going to try you. But hold on to God's basic instruction before leaving earth. He said, Timothy, you have known the Holy Scriptures ever since you were a child. Your grandmama taught you. Your mama taught you. Now, amen, tell men and women their basic instructions before leaving earth that don't let no one despise your youth. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of sound mind. And that we'll just preach the word, teach the word, tell people what does say of the Lord. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. It's written in a book. It's written in the Bible. But it's God inspired. Holy men spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And because it's given by the inspiration of God, it's profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, that the man of God may be perfect, <coughs> thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Basic instruction before leaving earth, the Bible. God bless you. Destiny is